In today's video, we'll be diving into the best methods for choosing a domain registrar in 2024. Whether you're just starting out or looking to switch providers, it's essential to focus on key factors like pricing, features, and security, and of course, customer support. We'll also explore why you might not need to even buy a domain separately in the first place if you're planning on getting a web hosting, potentially saving you both time and money. One of the first things that we'll cover is pricing and renewal rates for these domain registrar options. When choosing a domain registrar, the first factor many people consider is the price. However, it's important to realize that the price you see advertised is often just the introductory rate for the first year. After this initial period, renewal rates can be significantly higher, which is an ultra common practice in the domain registration industry. Therefore, it's crucial to look beyond the initial price to make sure that we're getting the best deal. One of the best and probably most efficient options you can choose is Namecheap. Namecheap is known for its competitive pricing and often provides significant discounts for first time registrants. However, the key here is to check the renewal rate after the first year. A domain that costs 99 cents in the first year could renew at $15 or more annually. Namecheap is favored by many due to its reasonable renewal rates, making it a preferred choice. Moreover, be wary of hidden fees. Some registrars might lure you in with low prices, but then hit you with additional charges for services like who is privacy, email forwarding, or DNS management. On the other hand, providers like Hostinger include many of these features in their hosting plans, which could come with a free domain, helping you avoid unexpected costs. One of the first things that we'll consider with these registrars is their domain management tools. As your website grows, you may need to make changes to your domain settings. So managing your domain should be a relatively straightforward process. Look for a registrar that offers intuitive domain management tools to facilitate this. A good domain registrar provides a user-friendly control panel where you can easily manage your domain settings such as changing DNS records, setting up email forwarding, and even managing domain renewals. Hostinger's control panel, for example, is renowned for its ease of use, making it simple for both beginners and experienced users to manage their domains. Namecheap also offers pretty robust bulk management tools, making it easy for you to handle your entire domain portfolio. Additionally, automated renewals are crucial to ensure your domain doesn't accidentally expire, which could of course lead to your website going offline or even worse, somebody else buying your domain altogether. Most major registrars, including Bluehost and Squarespace provide this feature, giving you peace of mind that your domain will always stay active. One of the other big considerations when getting started with a domain registrar is customer support. Customer support is often overlooked when choosing a domain registrar, but it's one of the most important factors that you should consider. Whether you're a seasoned website builder or a complete beginner, there will likely be times where you need help from your registrar. Your registrar should always offer 24 seven customer support, ensuring that no matter where you are in the world or what time it is, you can get assistance with what you need. One of the best examples of this is Bluehost, which is renowned for its excellent 24 seven customer support. This is offered through live chat, email, and phone. And moreover, this is just something that gives you that much more peace of mind for actually solving the problems that are happening inside of your domain. Also, so a good domain registrar should provide a comprehensive knowledge base. Squarespace does a really, really good job in this area, offering a vast library of tutorials that cover everything from domain management to website building. In addition to direct support, some registrars offer community forums where you can interact with other users and find solutions to common problems. Hostinger has an active community forum where users share tips, tricks, and advice, making it a valuable resource for domain management. One of the other big considerations that you'll have is security features. Security is a crucial aspect of domain management. A secure domain registrar will protect your domain from unauthorized access and ensure that your overall domain remains secure. One of the other big benefits is that it also will keep your personal information private. When you register a domain, your personal information is added to the Whois database, which is a publicly accessible database of all of the personal information of people that run websites. Whois privacy protection hides your personal information from the public, which reduces the overall risk of spam and identity theft. One of the other things you can consider to even further protect your domain for unauthorized access is to look for a registrar that offers two-factor authentication. This adds an extra layer of security by requiring you to enter a code sent to your phone or email address in addition to your password. Most reputable registrars, including Hostinger and Bluehost, both offer this feature. Another important feature to look for is domain locking. With domain locking, you can essentially prevent any unauthorized transfers from happening, making sure that anybody who has access to your domain can't transfer it over in ownership to somebody else if that domain is already locked. And then, of course, probably one of the most important things is to consider their bundled services. One of the most significant considerations when choosing a domain registrar is whether you need other services such as web hosting or even website building. Many web hosting providers offer a free domain when you sign up for hosting, and the best example of this is Hostinger. Really quick, I'll show you guys a quick step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to get started with Hostinger, and even better, get your very first domain for absolutely free. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is click the link down in the description for this video. Once you click that link, you'll be taken to this page here where you can get started with Hostinger. As you can see, we're going to get 
up to 75% off web hosting plus the built-in website builder that Hostinger already has available. We're also going to get a free domain, free website migration, and 24-7 customer support. All of this for only $2.99 a month plus three extra free months on top of that. To get access to this deal, all we have to do is hit the claim deal button. Once we hit the claim deal button, it will then take us down to the pricing tiers. They have a premium tier, a business tier, and a cloud startup plan. Each of these plans have their own feature sets and each one that's more expensive has more features than the last tier. In my opinion, if you're looking for the most amount of protection and the best place to get started with your domain, I would definitely recommend checking out their business plan, which is their most popular plan. Once we've chosen this plan, we'll hit the choose plan button, which will then take us over to their checkout cart. And then all we have to do is select what our actual payment period is, which is basically how often we're going to pay them. Then we create a quick account with either an email address or a password. And then we go ahead and select our payment option, enter in some of our personal details. And then to get the best deal possible, make sure to click this have a coupon code question mark and enter in the coupon code I first website, all capitals, no space and hit the apply button. Once you enter in that specific coupon code, you'll have the best deal possible when getting started with Hostinger. If you guys also want to check out any of the other hosting platforms that we talked about in today's video, make sure to use the links down in the description. They're all super solid options and these are definitely services that I would highly recommend. Namecheap is probably one of the best ones too, so make sure to check out the link down in the description for Namecheap as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about these domain registrars and of course also if you're curious about getting started with any of them, the links down in the description below are affiliate links and they do go towards supporting this channel. So thank you in advance for supporting us. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in a future one.